Michael Mole always wanted a son. But when his six-year-old child pulled a knife out of the kitchen drawer and tried to cut her wrist, that climaxed the unhappiness Madeline Moe had been showing about her gender. She would say those, those things like that, like, I wish I could die and be reborn. I wish I could die and be reborn into a girl's body. The father talked about Madeline wondering why God created her as a biological male and wishing she could die and come back as a girl. Their names were changed to protect the family as he testified in a Franklin County courtroom today. Judge Michael Holbrook must decide whether a ban on the legislation remains in effect. Most of the day was taken up by experts' testimony. I have a firsthand seat to see that transgender kids with appropriate medical interventions and support can really thrive. And um, that's, that's a really joyful thing to see. Dr. Sarah Carruthers, an endocrinologist with Children's Hospital of Cincinnati, said she has treated hundreds of minors with gender dysphoria. The ACLU's top lawyer, Freda Levinson, asked her. In your clinical experience, what benefits have you observed in providing gender affirming care for adolescent patients? Over time with treatments, I have observed um, increased confidence, increased self-esteem, um, more willingness to engage with me directly. The doctor also talked about patients sharing milestones in their life, such as proms and graduation. I have one individual that comes to mind who was um, lead in, in her school play, and she was highlighted in the local newspaper above the fold with her photo, and so she brought this to clinic and, and wanted to share that moment with me. Eric Clark, Deputy Attorney General, said emotional testimony doesn't impact whether House Bill 68 is constitutional. The plaintiffs in this case have presented an oversimplified picture on the science, but ultimately the case will be about the law, and the law um, does not support invalidating this statute. Michael Moe was the ACLU's final witness in a hearing expected to last all week. For Six on Your Side, Daryl like Rowan, ABC 6 News. Um, so I believe that they're more aligned with the Endocrine Society and WPATH's SOC8. So I think a great deal of attention has been...